Duncan's Bluff. Duncan's Bluff. It was winter time on the island of Sodor. Duncan was busy puffing through the white mountains night, night. and the frosty forests. Grandma! Grandpa! He was Dad. proud to be a Daddy. narrow gauge engine. Dog. Mommy! Daddy! Bow. Duncan was Baby. delivering coal to the villagers. Grandma! They were going to need extra coal from the main Daddy. coaling plant. Dog! Night, night! Mommy, baby. So James Dad. and Thomas brought Daddy. coal to the wharf. Grandma. Grandpa. Duncan Dad. chucked in to talk to James. Bird. Mom, mommy. You were a long time getting here, teased Duncan. You're Grandma. lucky I came at all, teased James crossly. I've got baby. an important Dad. job to do later. Dad. I'm taking some children to a concert. Oh, it's doing two jobs night, night. in one day too hard Grandpa. for you, Duncan Grandpa. shoved cheekily. Ha, snorted James. I can do more jobs in one day than you can. I'm really useful. This made Duncan cross. How about a wee contest, chuffed Duncan. I bet I can take more coal to the villages faster than you can deliver it. Oh, right, puffed James. You're on! I'll show you who's fastest, chuffed Duncan. But Duncan was worried. James was big and strong. I hope I can be as fast as James, he puffed nervously. So Duncan delivered all his coal as fast as he could. It must be James. Must be James, he puffed. But when Duncan arrived back at the wharf, James was waiting for him. I told you mainline engines were the fastest, teased James. Duncan looked at the long line of freight cars. There was plenty of coal for the villagers there, but Duncan didn't want to lose. Oh, is this all you brought, he tooted. The villagers need lots more coal than that. Then I'll bring more coal than you have ever seen, Huff James. James raced back to the coaling plant. And Duncan delivered the coal to the villagers. Now all the villages had plenty of coal. Duncan puffed back to the wharf. But when Duncan arrived at the wharf, there were still lots more coal cars waiting. So Duncan decided to play a trick. I'll hide the coal cars before James gets back, he puffed. Soon all the cars were hidden. Now, James will think I've delivered all the coal! <laughs> Duncan chuffed cheerfully. James had collected lots more freight cars from the coaling plant. He was puffing harder than he had ever puffed before, and he was using lots of coal. At last, James arrived at the wharf. There was Duncan. You still haven't brought enough coal, teased Duncan. I thought you were supposed to be really useful. Uh, I'll soon be back with so much coal, puffed James. It will take you all winter to deliver it. Oh, we'll see, puffed Duncan. James still had to take the children to the concert, but he had been puffing so hard, he had used up all the coal in his tender, and soon, he ground to a halt. That evening, the narrow gauge controller came to see Duncan. James is stuck. He has run out of coal, he announced. Now he won't be able to take the children to the concert. Duncan felt terrible. He thought about all the coal cars he had hidden. He thought about James, and then he thought about the children. 
I have to tell you about the hidden coal car she wished. Night, night. The narrow gauge controller listened mm. hard. You have caused delay and confusion, he said slowly. But you have told the truth. And a useful engine always tells the truth. I'll only be a really useful engine if I can help James, whistled Duncan. So Duncan collected one of the coal cars he had hidden. <laughs> Snow started to fall. Duncan rattled along the icy tracks. Until at last, Duncan found James. What are you doing here? snorted James. I played a trick on you, Chuff Duncan. I didn't take all the coal to the villagers. I hid it from you. You are the fastest and a really useful engine, Duncan added. But James told Duncan that he was a really useful engine too. You brought the coal to me so quickly, I would still be able to take the children to the concert, he puffed. Thank you, Duncan. The coal was quickly loaded into James's tender. Soon his fire was roaring, and his boiler was as warm as toast. He steamed off to collect the children. Duncan felt happy. James is a really useful engine, puffed Duncan. Ah, but then, so am I. And he chuffed happily away to deliver more coal to the snowy villages.